So when this event came in, what attracted me the most is the fact that I've never been to Glen Creek before, so it was more like an adventure. But as well as being part of nature and combining art with it, I wanted to see how that would look like. So I'm amazed of how the day has turned out, so it was absolutely amazing. Oh, my highlight was actually going to the German graveyard. Because of the sounds, it was so tranquil. I actually imagined building my house up there and just living because the nature, because um, I walked up to where the big cross is and you can actually just see the horizon of mountains. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Just the sounds of the birds and the sounds of the river and even just the swaying trees, it makes you feel like you're at peace. And we got to write there. I swear to God, if you sit down there, all the ideas just kept coming to my head. Community means togetherness, being part of, um, you know, like one big family is what I take community to be, because without community, you can never ever move forward. Like, you know what I mean? We, human beings are not meant to be islands or mountains. We're supposed to be together. I think today has been quite, um Quite nice, to be honest, in terms of the weather. It's been amazing. Um, we've had great light for the photography workshop. And of course, the people have been absolutely, absolutely welcoming and open to learning new things and meeting new people as well. We all reflected about the need we have nowadays to reconnect again. And I think this event is a good starting point to start feeling this connection uh, between each other and also in this lovely and peaceful place and to discuss important issues and to talk about art, nature, well-being. So I do think that there's a very positive attitude. Community can be your starting point to explore the world, like being guided by somebody, having like somebody's hands, like taking you to, the, uh, to it and yeah, feeling safe while exploring other realities. Using the community as a support, but this is a support like guiding you to opening yourself to other realities. So it's basically a very positive mind, mindset uh, and attitude. So I've learned a lot. I was in the group of photography and it's, it was amazing. The simple skills that I've learned about photography, uh, I wouldn't have learned this in any other place, and I'm, I'm really grateful. The world community, to me, it would you know, be a group of people who have identified, in, you know, in, a, in space and time, who have identified certain values and virtues that guide their life, in, in, you know. And, you know, the, the concepts that have value and meaning to them, definitely we have to communicate and we have to engage at different levels. Once we communicate, because a society which is made of different communities, we, we have a lot that vary. And at the same time, we have a lot in common, but we have to interchange and we have to engage so that we develop and when we do that we'll integrate better but when we say separate we our, our communities will collapse from within but once we interact we'll grow together and flourish i have been to glen cree many times uh, the first time when i was a teenager i used to cycle up here with a group of friends and there used to be an old youth hostel uh, in the village here and we'd stay, we'd stay there. I was interested in today's event because it, uh, it, it, it involves two, two uh, areas that I'm very involved with myself. One, uh, one of them being um, refugees and migrants and the other one being the environment. What my interest is to see how uh, Glen Cree Peace and Reconciliation Centre uh, brings those two uh, elements together. Nature calms us down, and uh, when when we are outdoors, it's uh, it's it's brilliant uh, because it it just you know gives us the energy to carry on with human relationships and 
engaging with other people and of course like as as naturally this sort of nature we foster in ourselves is supposed to be community oriented rather than isolated so that is also um a part of it yeah the connection it's something almost primal it's very important um and it's it's um it's completely instinctual to me to go out and connect and um be with people understand them try and be a part of something yeah that's very very automatic when when people read out the works after the at the end of the workshop that was really exciting to see like how people came up with things on their feet and um how how brilliantly they did just after like few few minutes of reflection on on environment and all that the mountains etc so it was brilliant so community for me is really being able to feel comfortable with people to feel um like you can share something with people shared values shared yeah just creating a sense of home within the people you're surrounded with and art is really facilitating building something together growing together and just yeah producing something that everyone worked and put some something together so i joined the creative writing workshop so there was definitely a highlight because not only could i reflect on my own feeling of how poetry and nature and art is interrelated but i could hear also the other participants views of where they feel rooted how they see poetry and how they can use words to express themselves but just listening to people you know saying oh and then saying can i read what i've written and then reading out or sharing something that they've experienced or sharing something they've written and just feeling like yeah that person you know and and also things that i didn't think of that somebody would then say and share and i would think this is why i'm here because this group they don't i'm i'm here to create a space where all these wonderful people can share their experiences so the fact that i was able to be there as a witness to other people's um to everybody sharing what it was they were getting from the experience that was that was really powerful nature shows us how to be in community in a peaceful way and if we look at trees and we look at how trees and nature how um ecosystems work everybody every 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 li living organism within that system has a part to play and has a relationship with the other organisms and we as humans in our society sometimes forget that we sometimes forget that all of us are giving and taking and sharing we're breathing in we're breathing out it's the same air we're the same we are the same but we are different and how do we all how do we create spaces where each one of us can give what we have to give and take what we need to take and share and and be at peace with each other mostly the diversity of the uh, women attending um was interesting to me uh, because i am from a different culture i was born in a country lived in another country moved to another country working now in ireland so i'm very interested in meeting uh, people with a very diverse background it really means um meeting people um and especially now after having been locked in um in um our places um and not having been able to meet people in person it's uh, very important to actually get out and i feel like uh, i almost lost connectivity to interact with people and so um being here outside and um in the nature and having um having um topics that we share interests that we share that um always helps and uh, it's making it so easy to connect The environment is enabling. It resonates the message that we can wait, and that really summarizes everything we've been through today. From the first program, the breakfast we had, the section we broke into, and just the uh, mindfulness section we just had now. The community itself is a function of heart. Everything that goes in the community or within the community has a linkage to heart. and nature so there's no way you can separate them what attracted me to today's event um first of all is that 
I was going to be amongst community members, okay, different people from different all walks of life, and it didn't disappoint. And um, again, to build networks and to connect with others and to enjoy um, all the workshops that um, had been planned for us today. And it's been amazing from the wellness workshop to the creative writing, to, from that, um, again, the insight as to how, um, you know, words, we could play with words and the meanings that we could draw from using words. The highlight has been realizing that there is an interconnectedness between nature, arts, and the community. And that is what, you know, my highlight has been today. Um, so how did I come about that? I've just the example of a tree and how trees sustain, you know, branch out the roots, the branches, and that that could represent a human being. So for all of us as human beings and as community members, we're a branch or a root or part of each other. We can't exist without ourselves, with, without others. And that's what has happened today. I've learned from a lot of people, I've made new friends, I've seen that there are similarities between the community where I live in and the community that I'm in presently. And I've met a lot of people, yes, having fun, seeing nature, beautiful things, because I've never been outside Dublin since I came here. Because nature, like community, if I may understand, communities just associate with people. And to associate with people, if you don't know where you can go, it's also a part of uh, lack of something. So as long as you associate with people and you can go a place like this, you invite yourself, your spirit to be connected with the nature. I had so many highlights. Um, to start off, um, I met so many new people from different countries, different backgrounds, and um, they're very brave people because they went through asylum seeker process, which is inspiring. And I also did the writing piece, which um, I was very inspired by the piece I wrote. And um, also the food, the food was nice. Yeah, and the dancing. <laughs>